Heyo. I'm in free cab mode in PO3's factory, and I thought I'd go through each room separately and explore them. I've gone ahead and enabled most of the in-game events, which usually disappear after interacting with them once. I'll talk about them when we go through them. Let's start with the trader's room. As we can see here, there are no walls, and most of the rooms don't have or are missing walls. In here we can see the flying books, the skulls, and we can also see the woodcarver's face mask event. When you see it once, it flies up in the air and disappears, and that is true for all of the other face masks as well. There isn't really much to the trader, uh, you interact with him and talk with him, but this is what it looks like. Moving back to the main room, we can see that it also has no back wall, and I've enabled the scribes from the ending cutscene. This is what it looked like. I'll revisit the game table a bit later, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, there isn't much interesting in, in here. I was wondering if there was anything inside the scanner thing, but there is, doesn't seem to be anything. We can also take a look here, where we can see Gubert make a brief appearance, and when you walk up to him in game, he disappears. Then we have the inspector room. It's also missing a wall, and we can find the woodcarver's face mask here. If we move over the bridge, we can find the flying books and the skull, but I believe they disappear once you've seen them once. If we look to the right, we can actually see the flying junk in the air. This is usually obscured by the darkness, but here you can have a full view of them. We can also take a look at the photo drone. It should be glowing orange, uh, but I couldn't find a way to activate it, so this will have to do. Then we have the smelter room, and let's start with this section. Behind the gem drone we can find another woodcarver's face mask event, and on the opposite side we can find the skull. I've actually never seen the skull in game, but uh, hey, it exists. If we look to the right we can find some flying books and goobert. Also to the side we can find the gemstone which takes us to his place. Let's go visit there briefly. Far out in the space, away from the game world, we find Goober's place, and there isn't really much interesting in here. You have Goober there, and you have the painting here. There really isn't much more to it. If we look underneath the smelting room, we find the so-called dredger's room, where the three scribes are standing. And I think it's pretty funny that Leshy doesn't have a torso here. Now, I want to mention briefly how PO3's face is being rendered. This is what it looks like. This plane is applied onto his face and you see this flickering effect, which is actually a thing up here. It's this thing. I'm not really sure why it's laid out this way, but that's the way it is. Now, in order to demonstrate how the bosses look, I actually need to replay the game and actually get to the bosses, so I'm gonna do that. See you in a while. And that should cover most of the interesting parts in PO3's factory. 
Hope you like it. Like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye. Have a good day. Goodbye. See ya. Have a good night or a good day. Depending on where you live. Bye bye.